Get over here! Now listen, you rich people. Weep and wail because of the misery that is coming on you. Your wealth has rotted, and moths have eaten your clothes. Your gold and silver are corroded. Their corrosion will testify against you and eat your flesh like fire. You have hoarded wealth in the last days. Look, the wages you failed to pay the workers who mowed your fields are crying out against you. The cries of the harvesters have reached the ears of the Lord Almighty. You have lived on earth in luxury and self-indulgence. You have fattened yourselves in the day of slaughter. You have condemned and murdered the innocent one who was not opposing you. I could listen to this theme all day. This has easily become one of my favorite songs in this game. Nuestra Madre. What a wonderful track. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to episode 4 of Let's Play Blasphemous. I am the Green Scorpion, and... Oh, gotta... <laughs> I gotta watch with a joystick sometimes. Um, but yes, um, we are here for another bout of Blasphemous. It's been a little while, um, specifically because I've been very, very busy, and I'm about to die. Actually, that's right! I forgot it! That is something I can do with, um... That is something I can do with that axe, and goodness gracious, you can tell it's been a little while. So, um, for context, the reason I haven't gotten back to playing Blasphemous in a, while, in a little while is because of the fact that, um, as, you, as many of you guys have seen, I have been very, very busy with, um, with, uh, videos. And there's just been a lot going on. Goodness gracious has there been a lot going on. Um, so... As some of you probably know, I live in the, uh, I live in the, uh, East Coast, Pennsylvania specifically. And there's been a lot going on. Ooh, another Mark of Martyrdom, nice. Uh, in particular... Sorry, trying to... I gotta, I gotta remember where I need to go, because it has been a little while. But, um, in the Pennsylvania area, there has been the... Oh, right, okay. Nice. Oh, baby, look at that. <laughs> that is fun to do, not gonna lie. It's nice to know the pattern of the uh, the pattern of the enemies and be able to work around them. Yeah, I'm still using the blade. Yeah, I'm trying to remember what what I gotta do uh, for. Yeah, I gotta remember how to, how to, like, play this game a little bit, admittedly, because, um, it has been a little while, but, um, I will figure this out, no worries. Oh, jeez, okay. You know what? I should probably be doing that instead. Might as well use both of them. Oh, yeah, I remember now. Um, again, the thing is, is, like, I'm kind of, like, struggling to figure out where I need to go. Maybe down there is uh, where I need to go, just to keep exploring the Mother of Mothers. And actually, now that I think about it, um... Oh, okay, I just remember now. It's down B to, um, uh, to, uh, do the chant instead of the quick verses. Okay. See, it, it pays to look at the controls on the menu screen, people. Um, but, yeah. Um, some of you may know about, like, what just happened recently with the earthquake, um, in the East Coast, which, uh, shook up a lot of people. Heh, <laughs> shook up. Yeah, I know, I'm funny. Um, but, um, yeah, there's been a lot going on. Um... Am I freaked out about it? I'm gonna be honest with you, not really. Um, it was not that bad of a, uh, bad of an earthquake. It was, uh, 4.8, if I recall correctly. 
So, not the biggest deal. It did shake up a lot of people here who aren't used to earthquakes. I got a lot of people, like, friends and whatnot, talking about, uh, talking about, like, you know, they used to live in, uh, they used to live in California, and it's like, oh, yeah, this is nothing, brother. Like, you, you don't know what earthquakes are, <laughs> like, actually. Oh, that hit me. Okay. Okay, so after a certain point, they are going to get past me and the hitbox will trigger. Good to know. Yeah, where am I supposed to go right now? Yeah, I can't go through here because of this uh, mirror thing. I might... I might be at a point where I can't really proceed here yet. Unless I'm missing something, like, super obvious. I could be, like, in all honesty. I'm going to at least check that one, um, spot, um... It, towards the south that, uh, I see in opening four. But again, I'm not sure yet. What was, what was in here? Again, I'm just kind of, like, trying to remind myself of everything that, like, I missed. Okay. So once they get too close, just slide. Oh, I remember now. Yeah, is there a way to get up there is the question. I I know there's a switch that I can, like, hit. Let me see, actually. Let me see if I can actually figure that out. Goodness gracious, you can do some really, really good stuff with that uh, combination. Okay. I gotta remember... Okay. There's something with that, but I don't know what yet. Okay, I can't jump and retain that, uh... Like... Is it really just there? Like, do I really just have to bring it all the way down? I might. I mean, I'm willing to test it out either way. And then I can just keep going and see, well, like, what else I may have missed. So, um... Oh, yeah. Oof, okay, hang on a sec. Oh, baby, I made it. Uh, it was just for a Mark of Martyrdom, though. I mean, that's still good. Like, I'm not going to complain about another Mark of Martyrdom. Yeah, let's go ahead and explore that other area. Uh, see if I may have missed something. So, um... I am really happy to be back. Um, I apologize to those who have been waiting for more Blasphemous. But again, I've been super busy... Um, I am glad, though, that there are, uh, plenty of, like, uh, plenty of viewers in the audience. Oh, that is sick looking. Um, I am glad that there are plenty of people in my, in my audience who are, like, are genuinely, like, looking forward to my Blasphemous episodes. So, that's really, really nice. Uh, to those people, I want to say thank you so much. I'm glad you look forward to this. And, uh, rest assured, there will be more to come. Um... But yeah, so, there's been a bit of a topic lately, um, that's been very, that's been very prevalent, um, and it's been, it's been, like, a bit of a hot topic, um, it's been a bit of a hot topic for certain people, and understandably so. Oh, I, I think, actually, maybe I can hit that, hang on a sec. Can I? Nah, it doesn't work. Okay. It was worth a shot. It was worth a shot. 
So, okay, I need something to get past there, it seems. I mean, I don't know if I have a weapon that can really get past that. Or I may have to go through there, like, some other way, perhaps. Hang on a sec. Yeah, no, I can't. I can't make it. I may have to start exploring outside of the Mother of Mothers. Because, um, all the other areas that I'm seeing are blocked off in some way, shape, or form. So, what I can probably do is I can head back uh, to the Streets of Wakes, um, from uh, Profundo Lamento, and go from there. Again, there's a lot to explore in this area. Like, a lot, a lot. So... I am doing my best to kind of keep track of it all. Nah, no, nah, that's, uh, that's, that's for something else, I believe. I think I already got whatever, whatever that would offer me. I am in trouble. Okay. I think is... Is that a... Oh, it's a child. Again, I don't know if I can make that. <laughs> um, but going back to what I was saying, right? So, like, a very prevalent topic uh, lately has been... Oh, boy, I'm in trouble here. Alright, come on, buddy. I need you to come over here. Nice! Okay. Um, one prevalent topic lately has been, like, the disparity between, um, the rich and the poor. And, understandably so. Oh, yeah, that's right. And, um, that is actually something that I've been feeling a bit lately as well. Um, so, it's, it's no secret that, like, you know... No one likes to work. No one likes to necessarily have to, like, subject themselves to the, uh, to the, uh, 9 to 5, as it were. And it's been a lot more prevalent lately. Um, there's this generational gap I've been noticing about, like, the despair, the, like, the disparity between, like, the old generation and the new generation. And I've been seeing a lot of videos and a lot of people talking about it lately. And it kind of shows, too, because... You know, um, it's, uh, one of those situations where you see people, like, you know, especially in the political spectrum, if I may be so bold in saying, right? Um, talking about, like, you know, uh, helping the common folk, or, like, you know, um, there should be no, um, wrong button. There shouldn't necessarily be, like, any sort of, like, um bad blood between, like, generations, like, based on, like, you know, monetary value or, like, you know, how rich someone is. The, the, the truth of the matter is there is, and that's been the case, like, throughout the entirety of history. Um, and it still shows today. Like, I saw this one video recently talking about how, um, talking about how, you know, back in the day, as it were, back in the good old days and all that jazz, is the idea of, like, you know, um, good work, like, being a good worker, being a good, um, okay, I'm starting to remember now, uh, being a good, um, employee was rewarded back in the day, and rewarded to a rather, um, to a rather, like, admirable extent, honestly. Like, those who put in the extra work, put in, like, the, uh, put in the extra hours and whatnot. Oh, I remember you. Well, it's good to know that this thing can just, like, take it down in, in three shots. Yeah, I remember this place giving me City of Tears vibes. Yeah, I'm starting to be reminded of how good this, this, like, sensor is.
but um and yeah it is a, it has admittedly been something i've been feeling as well kind of sort of um specifically with the whole like you know why is it that we are paying for what's going on especially with the economy right like l let's make it no secret the economy's kind of fucked lately oh wow i can make that but i can't get up any higher it seems Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and go in here. <clears throat> and see what... Where I where else I can go. One thing I could do is head back to that portal and keep exploring the, uh, the forestal area. I might just do that. If anything, so I can get keep going towards, like, the bosses again. You know, I am actually going to do that. Maybe not against these guys. Nah, you know what? I'm going to do it. Let's do this, actually. Yeah, no, this is working. I'm just going to head back. I'm just going to head back to the village. Uh, okay, there's a pre -adieu, uh right there, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. But yeah, um, there's a, uh, there's like a bit of a thing that frustrates me lately, right? Um, regarding our current, I don't want to say political agenda, but it kind of fits. And like, you know, there's the classic, um, situation of like, you know, Separation of church and state and things like that and talking about how um, and talk and like a lot of politicians really really like to talk about how um, How like you know, we should follow the follow the uh, what God wants us to do and everything But like it's all hot air or at least it feels like it I'm just gonna say right now like I genuinely do believe that there are people within the political body and otherwise who genuinely actually give a shit and actually do genuinely want to do good for all intents and purposes it's just not exactly you know i don't want to say easy because it's not um but like it's not exactly something that they are able to freely do uh because um i just reminded, reminded myself what's in here again oh yeah i already got this um because there's a lot of red tape going on in there um I do genuinely believe that there are people who want to make a difference, but, like, you know, everyone is just so at odds with each other. Um, and a lot of it, I'm gonna be real with you, probably has to do with money. It probably has to do with, like, oh, no, like, we have all this, like, wealth, all this, like, richness, and we don't want to give that up. And, like, it sucks that that's the case, because, like, um, there's a, uh, there's one saying in the Bible that I think is still very true, uh, to this day. And, uh, it, it's a very hyper-specific phrase, but I think it, I think it's, like, relevant in a way. And it's when, it's when Jesus said that it is easier for, it is easier for, what was it? I think it was, like, it was easier for some sort of animal. Um, I think it was, it was easy, it's easier for a camel to fit through the, uh, through the hole of a coin than for a rich man to get into heaven. And, yeah, that's kind of true. I'm going to be honest with you. Oh. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure how that power works. I might go back to the fire, to be honest. Nice. 1,000 Tears of Atonement. Okay, I'm good with that. Okay, so yeah, it looks like we got some more to explore in here. Um, yeah, I'm actually going to go back to um, the fires. Um, What's it called? Uh, Benet uh, Peteneras of the Burial of the Lights. Uh, 
Okay. Might be more to explore um, down there, so I'm gonna go ahead and take advantage of that. Cool. Here's the thing, though. <clears throat> um, that passage that I put at the beginning of the uh, at the beginning of the episode, right, um, is talking about some uh, a bit of a more specific aspect, and it looks like I may be able to go that way. I'm gonna try and explore that. Um, it's talking about a very specific aspect, and the uh, passage that I shared is is specifically a warning to rich oppressors. Now, like, keep that in mind because. The Bible doesn't necessarily say that, like, you know, no rich person can go into heaven. Absolutely they can. Or at the very least, a rich person can be a good person. And there, we've seen plenty of examples of that. Um, in this situation, we're more talking about rich oppressors, uh, quote-unquote. People who don't necessarily have, um, you know, the, uh, don't necessarily have um workers best interests at heart as it were <laughs> in a sort of like roundabout way of saying it right um and again that's because of like you know i, I guess you could call this passage like what we kind of consider um is a bit of a grievance like a lot of people have with like corrupt ceos who are like you know, the classic situation of like, oh, yes, I am the rich person. I don't have to pay my workers. I don't have to treat them well. They're slaves to me type of thing. And this specific passage in the Bible um, is, lit is literally saying these people have it coming. Like, for all intents and purposes. And there's a couple reasons for that. Um, like, in the context of, like, you know, whether you believe in, like, God or believe in, like, you know, the Bible or whatnot. Like... Your hard work, your, um, your, like, labor, your blood, sweat, and tears will be rewarded in the kingdom of heaven. Now, that doesn't necessarily matter to... That, that may not necessarily matter to anyone who doesn't believe in the Bible or believe in God, obviously. So, like, what good is that? Well, in the context of, like, you know, just the real world or, like, you know, Earth, as it were, um... You need to understand also that, like, this might sound like a bit hokey, admittedly, but it's one of those things where it's like, hmm, what do we got here? Ah, okay. Oh, okay, and it just... Oh, yeah, I, re I remember where we are. Oh, this is new, actually. I'm going to explore this. Oh, that was... Okay, you guys saw that, right? That was weird. Okay, can can I, like, go down here, please? Thank you. Like, one way or another, however, like, you know... If you are the one who's, like, put actually putting in the work, putting in the blood, sweat, and tears... Uh, to, like, you know, do what you gotta do. Is it gonna go down? Yup, okay. So I gotta move. Miracle. All right, let's see what we got here. After we take a flask. Okay, so bleeding miracle. Uh, it's not a quest item. Oh, oh, it's a it's a prayer or a quick verse. Uh, Bleeding Miracle launches a crimson disc at that returns to its bearer, inflicting mystical damage to its enemies. I'm willing to try that. Um, let's check out the lore. Verses dedicated to the bloodshed in penance. The first sign of sacrifice since the emergence of the earliest worshippers of the miracle. Alright. Um, but as I was saying, right? Um, the thing about, like... Ooh, okay, I'm glad I, uh, I'm glad I blocked that. Ooh. 
the thing about the rich oppressors, right? Again, I, I, I'm i trying to focus on, like, talking about, like, what I want to talk about. But it ain't easy while I'm also trying to, like, you know. Heh <laughs> While I'm trying to, like, play this game, which is, like, not an easy game to play. Um. But. <clears throat> I guess, like, the main thing that I am trying to say when it comes to the idea of, like, you know, acknowledging that, like, you know, these rich oppressors will, like, have their day is that, you know, this might sound hokey, right? But at the very least, I like, me personally, right, um, I can, I, like, to me... I can at least safely say that at the end of the day, I worked for, like, what I earned, the blood, sweat, and tears, and everything, and at the very least, I know that I didn't have to hurt anyone to do so. And that's kind of, like, one of the main things about it, right, is, can you safely say that you gain what you have without bringing harm to other people, and maybe even, like, helping them, you know? And, like, that is an important part of wealth, is understanding that, hey, like, that's something that maybe you should consider doing. Like, at the end of the day, like, <sighs> I keep saying that. Um, there's something I actually really enjoy saying, um, and it's one of those things is, like, you know, uh, people want money, and, like, we, money, like, just kind of, like, is how things roll in, uh, this world. That, like, that's just, like, the end-all be-all of it, unfortunately. I had a feeling! Um, one thing I always like saying, however, is the idea of, like, I don't want to be, I don't want to be rich. Do I want to be wealthy? Yes. I don't want to be rich, though. And this is a rosary beat. The price of blood slightly increases the tears of atonement gained. Coin covered with reddish stains, accumulated layer upon layer. It changed from hand to hand since it was minted. Always this payment in exchange for a life. Violence is just one more neighbor in these battered streets. Well, there you go. Didn't mean to use that, but that's okay. Yeah, that's uh, one of the abilities from, like, before, right? Ah... Well, I can't get that yet. Or can I? Let's check if I can go south of that uh, one area here. Oh, no. No, I can't. Then let's keep exploring over here for now. But yeah, one of the things for me personally... Oh, you, you big hoss. I got one too. Ow. Oof. Yeah, baby, there we go. Wow, okay, that disc does a lot of damage, actually. Good to know. <laughs> so, I guess the main thing for me, when it comes to what I was talking about, right, is try not to let those guys bother you, and at the end of the day, this is another thing, right, is for those who, like, again, don't believe in heaven and, like, are not really interested in the whole, oh, there, like, theirs will be the kingdom of heaven, like, you know, the poor oppressed people, and, like, those who, um, okay, can't get in there yet, uh, you know, those who, like, are rich oppressors will be, like, you know, have their comeuppance in heaven, to people who don't really believe that, like, like, that's, um, obviously doesn't really matter much. If I were to, like, quantify it for those who, like, are looking for a more real-world comeuppance, right? It's not easy to do. It is not. And I acknowledge this. But, pe like, I think more people need to understand, like, CEOs and workers, or, like, you know, uh, rich people and workers, like, alike, is that, you know, a good manager or a good, like, boss, quote-unquote, 
is only as good as their workers. They, like, they need you. They need workers. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Where are we here? What? Ah, speaking of, uh, oppressed, like, rich oppressors, <laughs> that looks like, that looks like someone who's been around the block. So, where are we exactly? The Palace of the Embroideries. Okay, we were talking about, like, we, we were talking about uh, oppressed rich people. I'm gonna be honest with you, I didn't plan this at all. But, yeah, like, it's one of those things where it's like, you know, you gotta understand that, like, they need us. They need the uh, oppressed workers, or quote-unquote, and maybe, like, you know, things will go a lot smoother if we were not so oppressed. Uh, you know, as it were. And for me personally, right? Okay, yeah, I don't... Whatever ability I need for this is, like, maybe it's here. I hope it's here, because this would also end up a couple of areas in the Mother of Mothers. Nice! Not so nice. God, I love the counter on this thing. And, uh, going back to what I was saying earlier is one of those situations where, like, you know, um, everyone wants money. Like, you know, we want to have a lot of money, but, like, I've expressed before that, like, much as I would like to have, like, plenty of it, it's mainly just for the purposes of, like, you know, making sure, like, I'm okay, my family's okay, the people I love are okay. I want to be wealthy. I don't want to be rich. I... Maybe this is just me personally. I don't know if like, I, I'm I'm pretty sure like this isn't necessarily an opinion shared by a lot of people. I don't really like the rich lifestyle. I don't like the um I don't like the idea of having like these lavish like you know uh things or anything that necessarily is going to like show off my wealth or anything. I'm fine with just the idea of you know, just having enough money to just live, you know, and be comfortable and maybe help out people who are less fortunate. And that's the thing, is like, you know, rich people... Oh, oh Jesus, okay, that was a bait. <sighs> well done, well done. Cool. Dude, the, the just counter is so good. Holy smoke. So yeah, like, plenty of wealthy people, like, definitely deserve respect and everything. Lots of rich people, however, don't seem to get it. And, at least for me personally, the way I see it, and this might sound a little bit morbid, right? But those corrupt CEOs, those corrupt politicians, those people who are up in their high horses, who are probably like 70 or 80 years old at this point, give it time, guys. Our time will come. Theirs is running out. And I don't like want to like maybe sound morbid or anything in regards to that, but that's another thing about like, you know, being wealthy and being rich is the fact that, you know, at the end of the day, it's all gonna go away in the end. Like, all that stuff you accumulated in the world is going to go away. It's no longer going to be yours anymore. So, at that point, is like, okay, what are you really hoarding all this wealth for? Just for yourself? Because you're not gonna have it forever. Maybe consider giving it to those who need it more, or need it when your time is up. And people who understand that tend to have a little bit more of an understanding of, like, where and why they should utilize that wealth, you know? And those are the people I feel deserve respect. Is those who understand that it's not forever. And I hope, I wish more people understood that. 
and that's kind of the reason why like i was never like attracted to money's a little bit weird for me because like when someone offers me a lot it makes me feel a little bit you know iffy um not because i don't trust them or anything but it's just because like you know the wealthy the, the rich lifestyle just always wigged me out i never really wanted it i want enough to have to be comfortable and to be able to like you know do what i need to do don't ever like I, I don't know i don't know i don't ever want to be rich wealthy maybe rich no i don't want that lifestyle i'm gonna be honest like I, I've, I've had people ask me oh what would you do if you won the lottery i put that money away um donate to charity and just keep on living my life maybe i'll quit my job who knows maybe i would and i just keep doing this honestly like if i were to if i were to win the lottery i'd just go to full i I'd just go to youtube full time and just do that do what i love you know I would not take advantage of that because I also recognize, and as someone who is a Christian, right, I also recognize that everything that we work for in this world, everything that we gain, everything that has been given to us in this world is provided by God. And this is the mindset that a lot of Christians should have. Again, and for those who don't have that mentality, like, or who don't have that, like, you know, belief in god like oh then what about uh, like those who believe in god that who don't believe in god then in that case understand that whatever comes from the earth will return to the earth eventually we are we don't own this planet we are just living in it and we need to understand that because if it weren't for the planet able to grow crops able to be a good distance from the sun to give us exactly what we need in order to in order to like you know harvest our food and to be able to build buildings and to be able to raise cattle or like you know do the jobs that, that to make other people other people's like lives easier or better it's a lot of it is because we are living on this planet that's kind of letting us live in it we don't own this planet we're just living in it anyway what do we got here Hey, the double blades. Ooh. Yep, new weapon gained. Sarmiento and Centella. Sarmiento and Centella are the fastest weapons in your arsenal, forged with the intention of being wielded by experts from the school of the Ver Verdadera Destras Destreza, whose swift and accurate thrusts blended with their defensive mastery. Adherents of the teachings of this school can be can transport the wielder to ecstasy, empowering their thrusts. Sacred thrust R and R trigger X, and R and R uh, bumper is parry. So R X is thrust. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. It's from a slide, and. And this one has a counter as well. Alright, well, we're gonna give these a shot right now. Let's see what we got. Is this... Oh my god. So that's how they work. Really? Huh. Do I need fire? No. Okay, well, let's stick with these weapons for a little while. See how they work. Because I need to get to that uh, thing somehow. And there's another bit over here. So, yeah, forgive me if I if my, like, sermon, quote-unquote, is a little bit unfocused today, guys. But, like, it's, it's just one of those things that's been on my mind lately, admittedly. Is just, you know, there's a lot going on right now that's just, like, not really good quote unquote
I am not above using that. Taking another flask. Crap baskets. I'm getting a little too overzealous. But thankfully, I'm right over here, so it won't take me long to get back there. Yeah, I think I'd rather use the blade against these guys, because, like, the... Like, the, uh... Uh, the double, the double swords don't reach. There we go. Beautiful. I'll use it against these things at the very least. Oh, really? Alright, I'm okay with this. I'll admit, I'm actually surprised I managed to get all of these, like, so quickly. Not that I'm complaining. Oh, yeah. I gotta remember I have that. That is a really cool ability, I'm not gonna lie. That's actually pretty sick. Alright, let's try this again. I did not know you could, like, uh, deflect those, by the way. That's good to know. Awesome sauce. What do we got? Fervent Kiss. Fervent Kiss is a quest item. Piece of cloth used by the High Sanctities to cleanse their hands after being kissed. Huh. How will they find out the truth if to their eyes I'm no different from the others? We all share the same beauty and grandeur, the same skin made from light itself, the same voice that sounds like a gift from the high heavens. What if I was, in fact, different? What if I was truly- what if I truly was the most divine of them all, the only one deserving adoration? Yes, all will kneel before me, all will worship me, all will wait eternities to share my presence and fight for the honor of kissing my flesh. I just need to make sure the others disappear. Okay. I think this item is for that one lady with the celestial hand that everyone's kissing, so I'll have to remember that. Okay, so this is going somewhere. Do I want to take this elevator, or do I want to go back and see if I can figure out how to go about that way? Yeah, you know let's take it. Yeah, overall, this game has been great. Like... I've been very much enjoying uh, how this is going so far. Ah, okay. It's a shortcut. A shortcut to where, though? Because I don't know if I've been here before. It doesn't look like I have. Well, uh, waypoint. I'm okay with this. Yeah, I'm fine with just, like, exploring for now. And maybe we can save a boss fight for later. Should I figure out how to get to that thing? Oh, Jesus! What are you? And where am I? The Choir of Thorns. Whoa. Also, I see you. Oh, I see.
Interesting. What? Okay, that scared me. Cool. Well, ain't this a peach? Ah. Okay then. Yeah, I'm getting blindsided by a lot of things right now. What the heck are you? Oh, good to know I can do that, actually. Mother effer! Oh, good, Pred you. Aha! Okay, I see how this weapon works. That is sick as hell, man. Yeah, the question is, like, I don't know what to do with about those, like... I'm actually curious. Okay, no, you can't burn them away. Twas a thought. Yeah, then let's uh, keep looking. Again, one, one of the main things for me is if I can, like, get through this area or, like, get through more areas and gain more abilities to, like, you know, be able to explore better, that'll ultimately, like, benefit me in the long run. One thing I'm not I'm not exactly liking about this weapon is the fact that like it's only it only really seems to have that one attack with the one sword. It's like okay, there's no like combination or something. You just repeatedly swipe at that. Unless I'm doing something wrong, I I will totally acknowledge that I could be doing something wrong. Ow. Oh, this is this ain't scary at all. Wait a minute. Hmm. Nothing seems to be happening over there. So I'm probably missing something right now. Yeah, this definitely looks like something I need to kind of just take in little by little. That I cannot go through yet. Okay, can you like not please? Thank you. Okay, by the way, yeah, like, I think I learned, like, the Mark of Martyrdom, um, like, the, the Marks of Martyrdom, like, are dependent on which enemy I defeated, um, at the time. And there we go, got it. Or, like, they, like, each Mark of Martyrdom can, like, come from, like, one enemy, like, each enemy, like, once or something like that, from what I am to understand. I see you. <laughs> Saves me the trouble of having to look for those children later, and hello. Oh, jeez. Okay, that is an enemy. Oh. Oh, jeez. Okay. Nicely done. 
What do we have here? Oh. Crown of Towers. So, yeah, it's like I found this, but it looks like I can just keep going up this way, too. You know what? I'll tell you what, guys. Um, we're coming towards the end of the episode, right? I'm gonna keep exploring. Why don't you guys, uh, tell me which one I should go after first? Should I go after this one in the Crown of Towers? Or should I go after this one in the Palace of the Embroideries? I'm curious to know what, uh, what people think and what the hell are- Wait a second, is that a Seraphim? That's a Seraphim! Oh, Jesus! Yeah, that's a Seraphim! Huh. Wasn't expecting that. That is a very cool design. Yeah, for those who don't know, by the way, the Seraphim are the six winged angels in, uh, in biblical, uh, uh, in biblical war. Ooh, okay. You have a... You have a long reach. Okay, there we go. Have I expressed how good the music is in this game? I think I've expressed that more than enough. Ah, oh, I see. So if I use this... Yep, there we go. They go all the way up there. Cool. God, this music... What do we got? Scroll of the Elder. It's a quest item. Manuscript belonging to the cantankerous old man who dwells in the hamlet of the Golden Knots. It contains a list of names that cover the parchment in ink from beginning to end. The text was illegible. Written in its entirety with a penmanship as nervous as it was erratic. Letters intertwined, overlapped, and ran in, and ran in chaotic courses. Some so small they were barely noticeable. The paper was smudged, scratched, and ran through with strokes askew. All of it all of it gave the strong impression that the author had been rushed, be it by fear or anxiety, or perhaps their intention had been different. To confuse, to erase their trace, to conceal. Cool. God, this music, brother! Mm. So yeah, um... Oh, okay, more elevators. And we're going down this time. And another shortcut. I am not going to say no to that. Ah, is this... Oh, cool! Okay, okay. I see you, game. So... Yeah. Um, I'm going to continue exploring up at the towers for now. Um, just for a little bit longer. We're coming towards the end, but I think I, I think I have time for just a little bit more exploration. See if I can find another Predio. Unless I can't, now that I think about it, because, um... I don't know if there's another place I can explore here. Um, until I get a certain... Yeah, um, I might not be able to explore anymore here. At least not yet. I know there's one area here that maybe I can go up after this spot. Let's see. No, I can't explore around here yet. Well, darn. One thing I can do, however, is that there's that one little space um, to the left that maybe I can explore a little more. So let's check that out. That is such a change in scenery. Is like going from like this place, which is like a dilapidated forest, to a beautiful, like, city. There we go. Yeah, I... 
I'm not sure how I feel about this weapon yet. Like, it's fast, certainly, but it's a bit clunky. Yeah, so I haven't gone this way yet. Let's see what we have here. I'm noticing the lack of music here, and it's scaring me a little bit. Huh. It says I explored here before already. I am so missing something, I swear. Madre puta. <laughs> really? You gonna do that to me, game? Oh man, are you serious? Oh, and I have to go all the way back there. I don't have a yeah, I don't have the prayer that let or something that lets me go back to that prayer. Do do, do I? Uh, wow, that's a jip. So yeah, in that case, um, like, I got a little bit of time left, but like, I wasn't expecting to fall into a pit of, into a bed of spikes there. I'm gonna rush there, see if I can, like, make it back. But yeah, like, th this game is a little daunting, it's starting to get a little daunting, because, like, I'm exploring places, like, I'm, like, doing my best to, like, go from point A to point B and whatnot, but, like, there's a lot to take in right now in this game, which... I think it's part of the reason why I like these games is because, like, there is that, like, sense of adventure and, like, uncertainty. I I've really come to start liking Metroidvanias like that. It's why I like Hollow Knight so much. Though, at this point, like, I've played Hollow Knight, like, so much that I can basically, like... Seriously? You know what the funny thing is? From what I have to understand, there is some sort of thing that, like, is supposed to happen when you fall into a bed of spikes enough times. So, <laughs> I guess if nothing else, I'm speeding up that process. Okay, I gotta remember that I can just do that in order to go down platforms. So yeah, let me get those two back, and then we can call it a day. But yeah, like, uh, you got, y'all in the comments, like, uh, feel free to, like, you know, comment on what I was talking about, comment on this game, comment on how much I'm sucking. But at least I'm making progress, and that's the important thing, right? Okay, get this back. And not fall for that again. Oh no you don't. Hiya! Okay, okay, okay. Calm down, calm down. Okay, are we good? Are we fine? Okay. I thought you were going to lead to something, but I guess not. Ow. Got a little too overzealous there. And once again, I am not taking chances. Yeah, what's with all the crows here? I, I have a feeling this is going to lead somewhere, but we've come to a point... Okay, at least I had enough health to survive it that time. 
Let's not do that again. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, like, explore a bit more, but, like... Oh, I just realized that, like, they eat the corpse. That's pretty morbid. Yeah, since I can't go up the tower, like, uh, the Crown of Towers right now, it seems like maybe I need to go through this now. I know there's an area here that has, like, one of those mirrors, so maybe that'll lead to something. So, yeah, um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it a day there, guys. Um... Yeah, it seems like my best bet right now is to head back to the Palace of the Embroideries and, like, take this path here. That might lead to something. Um, that is my best guess as of right now. Um, but, yeah. So, um, that's pretty much all I have today. Again, apologies if, like, the commentary seemed a bit dry today, guys, or a little bit unfocused. It's been a little while since I got back to this game because of everything that's been going on. But, um, in on that note, I actually would like to take a moment to ask you guys... Is there something you want me to talk about in terms of, like, you know, relating it to biblical teachings or, like, you know, talking about God or heaven or just something, like, that you guys are struggling with or, like, something in the Bible that you would like me to discuss and make a little more sense of? I will definitely do my best and I'll take all those comments into consideration. Um, and, of course, um, feel free to, like, give me any solicited advice. I'm, like, putting it that out there. Like, you guys are free to give me any advice in helping me through this game. Because, again, it's, it's starting to get pretty daunting. Like, I, I'm i only on episode 4, and already this, like, game has expanded to such a degree. I mean, look at all this. And I, I haven't explored all of it yet. So, this is going to be one hell of a trial. But on that note, thank you guys for tuning in. I'm the Green Scorpion, and I'll see you all next time. God bless.